you know, how do you make the case for Bitcoin in this in this society right now where people just want cash, 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 cash? Oh, well, Daniela, they, you know, this is an interesting question. So let's let's look at the big picture here. So we have a few different things going on. You've got the stock market. You've got the gold market. You've got the cash market. You've got Bitcoin. And how are these things all interacting with each other? Well, so let's talk about gold for a second, because, as you know, I've been a big buyer of gold since 2003, a big buyer of silver also since 2003. And I got into Bitcoin through gold and through silver because I recognized it in 2011 that it was a gold substitute, that it is hard money. And right now in the gold market, because of the mm -hmm. failure of the LBMA and the COMEX to be able to deliver, uh, they're having a massive run on those exchanges, like we saw in the gold pool days of the 1960s. There's uh, Gold is hard to come by. Russia it, announced that they're going to stop buying gold. You know why? Because they can't get gold. You think that's the... So what's really interesting, and by the way, I'm back, guys, going to be making more and more videos on not just cryptocurrencies, but the stock market, the you know, real estate market. And uh, right now, I am very bullish on all assets if you were smart enough to have the cash. But I'm not buying more cryptocurrency than the amount of gold or stocks I own. Um, I still like cryptocurrencies, and I still think it's an emerging future um, and if you've gone through my previous videos, I've never been all in on crypto. And I think I've always said that I've had more stock holdings than crypto holdings. It was getting very, very close. But now I'm basically owning as much cryptocurrencies as I do as gold. I feel like it's just the best way to kind of hedge yourself. And, you know, as Max Kaiser has mentioned, there's a lot of issues with gold. But... In this market, I still think that U.S. equities will be king. Um, we've basically allowed monopolies and the Federal Reserve to print out infinite money. So in my personal opinion, you should have maybe 70% stocks and then maybe 15% crypto, 15% gold, some sort of balance like that. Now, obviously, in my previous videos, I've always said have cash. Cash is king. You want to be able to buy dips. And this is a great opportunity to invest. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I love cryptos. It, they're volatile. And I've always stated stay in the bit larger cap cryptocurrencies, especially now because it's an emerging technology. And my two biggest holdings are Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I will continue to do that. But I'm not going to neglect the stock market. I'm not going to neglect gold. And, uh, you know, hopefully over time there will be signs to show that cryptocurrency is superior and then slowly move my portfolio into more and more crypto. But let me know your thoughts about this and uh, give me any comments on videos you want me to make. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.